Good morning, Hoppin' in Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris. Today, you'll get a new picture for the Have You Seen This? We'll hear your answers for the question of the day, and you'll learn about the upcoming Poetry Cafe, as well as Mr. Rockwood will tell us a new Fun Fact Friday. But first, I want to tell everyone that Art Club is starting back up on Tuesday, March 22nd. It will take place from 2 to 3 in room 255 with Mrs. Rowland. And now, Mr. Keller is here for a minute with the principal. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. Congratulations to our grade 8 band, chorus, and orchestra members for a successful Monday concert, which brings our spring concert season to an end. You all did an outstanding job, and we look forward to your performances in June. Kids Night Out takes place tonight. This, of course, was rescheduled from February when we had a snow day. Hopefully we'll have no snow tonight. There was some great school spirit on display this week. Thank you to Student Council for organizing this enjoyable week. Now that trimester two is officially over, we look forward to a strong finish to the year in trimester three. We're loving seeing the products of your efforts all over the school, from dynamic media selfie projects in the lobby, to this afternoon's dance competition, to the projects that we see when we visit classrooms. Keep up the great work. Finally, I'd like to keep a few exciting items on your radar. This coming Monday night is our second annual Poetry Cafe in the library. Wednesday the 23rd is the always exciting grade six Ignite Homeroom Challenge. And next Friday the 25th is an early release day. And just a little bit away, a little bit ways off is the April 1st Staff Talent Show. We hope you have a great day today, a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much, Mr. Keller. Now here's just a reminder that the Community and Spending for Patients fundraiser will run until the end of this month. The homeroom with the most donations will receive lunch from the Olive Garden. Bring those pennies! Now, for anyone who wants to join the after-school financial literacy class, please check your emails from Mrs. Grady and complete the survey by today. And now here's another kind of survey. For our question of the day, we asked, what about yourself are you most proud of? I'm just so utterly flawless that there's too many things to choose from. Same. <laughs> that we made it this far in middle school. How friendly we are. My lacrosse career. I'm glad about my ability to beat Sean in chess. I am glad about my ability to beat Brendan in chess. I'm proud that I keep trying my best no matter what, and I get it right, no matter what. I'm most proud of my ability to beat people in chess. I'm proud of my last name. We're proud, proud of, of our, our hair. hair. I'm proud of myself because I am a special person. My proudest thing about myself is I made the lead of like one of my group dances in my dance school. I'm proud that I'm not afraid to I'm not afraid to be myself. <laughs> and I'm proud of all my students, past and present. <laughs> I'm most proud that I am different and weirder than most people. Me, clearly. My hair. My awesomeness. I'd say that I'm most proud of my drawing ability. That I wanted to have you find found this. Our wonderfulness. My math grade. <laughs> we are nerds. We're most proud of our white converse. What I'm most proud of myself is that I'm smart. The thing that I'm most proud about myself is the fact that even if I don't do very well, I always try hard. That I'm not dead! I like my nails sometimes. <laughs> That's a lot to be proud of. And now, let's hear about the Poetry Cafe coming up on Monday, March 21st. Hi, happy Friday morning. I'm here to invite all students and teachers to the upcoming Poetry Cafe that's going to be held in the library on Monday, this coming Monday the 21st from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. We're going to have a lot of fun. I know poetry does not, might not appeal to everybody, but hey, I'm telling you, we're going to have fun. Uh, we're going to have refreshments, cake. Um, we're going to have door prizes that I'm going to raffle off and a lot of um, fun. So come on in, come on down, everybody, and uh, we hope to see you there. Now I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Peralt, who um, was here last year, and she'll talk a little bit about um, what her impressions were from last year's Poetry Cafe. Thank you, Mrs. Norby. I, absolutely. I was here last year and loved the entire evening of uh, 
writing and sharing and talking about poetry and about life with uh, adults, with students, with the faculty here, everyone on equal ground, everybody listening and reading their poetry. And I know after being here to uh, meet with many of the seventh grade classrooms this year to talk about the giver and write persona poems, there are many impressive writers and poets out there. So I look forward to seeing you that evening. See you there. <laughs> Don't let those poems hide in your shoes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pro. Now, do you want to be part of a great cause? If so, join the Relay for Life team, the Cancer Crime Fighters, at Yogurt Beach on Wednesday, March 23rd, from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. All you have to do is mention the name Cancer Crime Fighters, and 30% of all of the proceeds will go to the Relay for Life team. Thank you, and we hope to see you there. Okay. Now it's time to hear another great fact for Mr. Rockwood's Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another Fun Fact Friday. As you probably know, this coming Monday, we are having a poetry cafe here at HMS. So today we're going to talk about a form of poetry, the Clariou. A Clariou is a four-line poem and it has a particular rhyme scheme. It goes A-A-B-B. -B. Now, clever use are also meant to be fun and humorous. The first line names a well-known person. The second line has something to do, uh, something about that person. So let's try one. Well, you know Kanye West? Well, he always dresses the best. While out shopping, he spent more than 50 cent. Clever you. Now, can you think of any words? that rhyme with Clary you? <coughs> Chew! Bless you! Thank you, Mr. Rockwood. And now it's time to give you the answer for our last Have You Seen This. The picture was of the bulletin board next to the auditorium. Congratulations to Carly Stevens, Leela Frederick, Joseph Blodgett, Christian Saya, Abigail Auger, Lili Bari, Vivian Ye, and Liam Cohane for finding it. Stop by the main office after school to retrieve your pies. Now here's this week's picture. Do you know where it is? If you do, send us an email at hmstv at hillers.org and you could be our next winner. That's all for this week, middle school, for HMS Today. I'm Anoli Barris. Now get out there and study hard. But wait, don't forget to watch the Bruins on Saturday night. Okay. Stop. Let's do this with respect for everyone. Thanks, Carly! It is important to clean up your own mess to show respect for your friends and for the school. That is I clean the school because it's fun and shows respect for everyone. Respect yourselves, respect your friends, and respect your 